Hey there, Shane Dutke here. I just want to do a quick video on why blogging is the best business model to make money on the internet right now uh, as I'm talking to you right now. And uh, real quick, I actually have a couple of online blogs I'm going to reference in this training just to show you and tell you in like real time, like this is what I have working and this is what's working and ultimately making money on the internet and how it works, right? So like a couple blogs I have, Pro Paint Corner and Learning Jewelry. Now, to be clear, blog, blogs is kind of a misnomer. Blogs is kind of a catch-all term that a lot of people tend to use that refer to anything on the internet that publishes information, right? Now, I don't necessarily think these are blogs. They're more like just, again, they're more like websites that publish content around a niche topic, right? For example, my Learning Jewelry site publishes content around jewelry things. I have, we have a painting site that publishes content around painting things. So you can see very clearly how these are not blogs in this in term that you may be familiar with, right? Like also video, like think about vlogs too, like video blogs, right? When I'm like, hey, my name is Shane Dutt, I'm at the gym right now and I'm lifting these weights. That's not what we're doing here, right? We're not really creating that type of content. We're creating content around a specific niche topic about topics that are ultimately going to rank in our Google organic search and we'll get traffic, right? A quick, an easy like demo, like um like um I guess I like that when I'm telling people and kind of explaining what I do for a living and, and the, my my blogging business and how it works and then my automated blogging business works I like to show them this graph right like so for example you see best fake diamond studs if you Google that you'll see my article from on learning jewelry and then when you click this link you'll go to this page and then on that page you can then click these links and that'll send you to Amazon this link will send you to James Allen and then I make money when people buy now this is important because. Um, I don't just make money. I make money on whatever they buy on these sites, right? And I'm sending people to them and I'm making money on autopilot all the time, right? So for example, if I'm just like some guy, you know, in Kansas and I'm like, I really need some fake diamond stud earrings because I need to wear them for something for style purposes or a costume. I don't know. They might Google, you know, best fake diamond studs. Oops, spell it wrong. Best, let's do this again. Best, best fake diamond studs. If I Google that, you can see very, clear, very quickly, right? Like you have these ads up here, which people pay to be there. I'm not paying anything, right? Google, does, I don't pay Google anything to be here. This is my site right here, and this is organic, right? Google ranks this organically so that I can, so that it basically thinks this is the most relevant, useful piece of information so when somebody Googles this, right? I've mastered the skill or the art of getting here, right? And outranking all these other people down here and um, by doing this, I can now create this automated, uh, basically earnings engine, income engine that I that I make money with, right? Also on the right hand side here, you can see these are also ads. I don't pay here. I don't pay to be here. I don't pay to be here. I get organic, right? Now when somebody comes down here and they click, right? They click and they go here. You can see very clearly how, okay, now I'm now still reading about fake diamond studs and I scroll and then boom, I see this one right here. I click, you go to Amazon, you're, I'm making money, right? And I'll just make money on what I sent them there for. I also make money on whatever else they buy in their cart, right? So if they buy these same, uh, fake diamond stud earrings, but they also buy some groceries, uh, maybe like a, like, like a hand drill or like maybe like ant traps or something, I make money on everything in their cart. And that's how this works and this is why this business model is so great um now really what i wanted to show you too are some other ways people are making money on the internet just to kind of put this in perspective about other other ways people are going about making money now um a big one obviously is e-commerce right selling products right now you can either have your own inventory like i used to have a bow tie site right be the bow tie guy um guy.com this was my old old site i sold this and I had bought inventory, I bought bow ties from in Italy and China to create a bow tie company, right? And basically I was a, they call it private label, right? Like you buy stuff, stuff from China and then you put your own tags on it, right? I'm the bow tie guy, right? So that's kind of how it works. It costs a lot of money, a lot of cash, and it really is hard to, to launch these. And that is the private label model. Now, there's also fulfillment by Amazon and drop shipping. Drop shipping is very popular because you don't actually have to buy any inventory, but you still have to deal with customers and you still have to um, actually find suppliers to supply you with stuff, right? And then ultimately they have to fulfill those orders. And it just, I know drop shippers that are doing quite well, but I don't like drop shipping, especially for people who are just entering or becoming um, internet entrepreneurs or people trying to make money on the side because drop shipping takes a lot of time and energy and, and, and like logistics and planning. It's just too hard for, I, I, not too hard, it's just too much work, right, for the beginning uh, type of business model. And I ultimately, I don't even have any dropshipping businesses because I don't really like the business model, right? And then fulfillment by Amazon, basically you buy, it's the same thing as private label, but you send all your stuff to Amazon so you don't have to ship it yourself, right? When I was, sent, when people bought my bow ties, I would actually have to pack them up 
and I have to send them and mail them and go to a U, like a UPS or a US uh, a post office, right, and mail them. It was quite uh, it was quite annoying. And actually, I wonder if I can show you an image. Let me scroll up. You can see you can see right here that this image right here. Um, oops, I'm breaking this image. Go back. There it goes. You can see right here that oh man, I don't know what I'm doing here, but go back. There we go. You can see this image was actually of the bow ties that I had, right, in my house, right? So it's really, like, I had to ship these up and pack them up. You can see the label right there. I had a little label printer. Very time-consuming, right? So ultimately, the e-commerce side is, is is a way to make money, but it's also a lot of work and time, and yeah. And then there's affiliate marketing um, where you basically sell other people's stuff, which is tie-in to blogs. Look at that in a second. Um, there's also Kindle publishing, being an influencer, right? Like, you can actually, like, I you may have never heard of, like, Instagram influencers, those are ter I would never want to be an Instagram influencer because you're always dealing with people like you're always trying to negotiate new fees and you're always trying to um, make money uh, selling at, like basically your promotions on your Instagram right or your Twitter or whatever and it's time consuming as hell right and there's copywriting where you're actually writing the words on the page that's a whole skill set and you can make money doing that sponsorships basically again going uh, with the Instagram YouTube thing. Again, um, if you wanted to create a YouTube channel, those are obviously very popular with people creating YouTube channels where you are an influencer, you've, create, you've accumulated a certain amount of uh, eyeballs that come to your channel every day. Um, and then once you have like say 5,000 subscribers, you can start selling sponsorships. You know, you'll make some ad revenue, basically those ads that come up on YouTube's uh, ads, you make money uh, with that, not a lot, but you make some money. And then you can sell merchandise, right, to your audience, right? I know a very, very popular uh, way of making money on YouTube is selling like t-shirts with the brand on it, like buy my merch, right? Like this is very popular. Again, YouTube is a very, um, is a very popular way of making money right now. Although again, I don't do it because it just takes too much time to create video content. Even though I'm creating video content right now, I'm trying to do it in such a way where it's fast for me to do it. Like I don't do a lot of editing, but if you really wanna create a really big YouTube channel, you have to do that. And that's only, it's really the standard now. And that brings me to uh, consulting, right? So consulting is like if I have a skill set, say I'm really good at, like I'm a fitness you know, guru or a, or a nutritionist, right? And I want to sell, I want to teach people my ways or consult and help people get there. Um, you can sell your services, right? That's basically consulting. Now SEO and social media marketing are things you may have heard of before that people are, are selling, right? And then there's information products, right? Like eBooks, membership sites, online courses. These are other ways of making money on the internet that people leverage to uh, basically create an income stream for their for their sell on the internet. But these things require ad spend, right? In order to sell your your, your eBook, you gotta get eyeballs. And if you don't have like a website or a YouTube channel that is automatically getting eyeballs through say organic means, you're gonna have to pay, right? You have to go to Amazon or you have to go to Facebook, you're gonna have to go to Google, you're gonna have to pay for ads to get people to come to your, you know, to see your, your, your ebook and buy it, right? So this is ultimately not a very good place for, for beginners to start. Same thing with membership sites and online courses. And that brings me to blogs, right? So why are blogs the best, right? Well, blogging, you can basically start very slowly on the side, and this is exactly what I did because my first foray into blogging was a pest control site, right? You usually go to the site right now, Pest Strategies was the site I very much, was the first site I started. And this site um, ultimately allowed me to quit my job, right? But it wasn't like, overnight. It wasn't like a, basically I like to say, and you probably heard people say this too, right? Like it was a two year success story, or overnight success story that only took me two years, right? It's, it's true because that's exactly what happened, right? Basically I started uh, blogging, blogging, creating, publishing content around pest control stuff, like how to get rid of bed bugs, etc. Like if you go here, you can see, you know, one article that I basically created was about how to get rid of bed bugs, right? And I would just Google how to do that and ultimately write up an article and that would be it, right? That would be pretty much it. Um, and then Google would rank these things organically and then I would get traffic to my blog. And it ultimately it started com compounding, compounding, compounding. And every month we get, we get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then ultimately um, the earnings from these, these visits through the ads, through the affiliate links, through like stuff like this, where people are clicking my links, going to Amazon, I'd be making money. And it's compounding, compounding. Because once I publish this content, I don't come back to it, right? I publish it and I leave it, right? I leave it alone because that's that's basically what the spinal is, right? It's evergreen content. Once it, it's published, it's almost, it's never gonna go out of date, right? The same way that you get rid of bed bugs today is the same way you're gonna get rid of bed bugs in three months from now and in two years from now. It's the same way. So you don't have to keep updating it. That's important to understand when you're like, okay, bit blogging, how does that work, right? That's the business model. And that's why it's such an exciting business model. And that's why I am into it um, very deeply. And that's why I keep publishing new content or a, uh, starting new blogs, doing the very same thing, very same exact thing um, 
that 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 just works really well so you know and they can be sold for for you know big sums of money right like learning jewelry i'm shooting to sell this just like i sold the bow tie site and the pest control site i'm looking to sell this site you know uh maybe this time next year by hopefully or maybe like 18 months from now right that's the idea you you grow them you build them you sell them right and then ultimately that's the process you, you can don't have to sell them but you can if you want to and that's an option that a lot of other business models don't even provide right so if you were trying to sell a youtube channel very difficult to sell a youtube channel um, even selling an e-commerce store is very difficult because there's a lot of um, supply chain things you have to worry about and stuff like that. So blogs are really the perfect business model, especially if you're busy, especially if you want to do this on the side, especially if you're new because you can learn very slowly as your site grows. You learn simultaneously while your site grows, right? You don't have to know all of it day one. That's important. Anyway, um, this is just a quick video I want to do on uh, internet marketing business models and why blogs are the best business model for you, especially if you're trying to... Uh, you know, get into like build the side hustle, right? At the end of the day, and this ultimately this is what helped me escape me help me escape the nine to five grind, and ultimately what I think will help you. So uh, again, my name is Shane Dutka, and I think uh, if you like this, definitely check out some of my other videos, and definitely check out my weekly training, my free training session where you get you know you come on live with me and you can ask me any questions you want about blogging and anything like that. So anyway, I'll talk to you in the next video, and I will see you there.